Hey guys, even here, a little bit late with the upload today, but if you thought I'm not gonna post today, well, you were wrong. I might give you a break from me soon in a couple of days, but not today. Today, we got a couple of very interesting things to talk about, and the first one is Samson Daura, who basically just revealed his weight. And as you can see right here, it's 138.5 kilos, which is around 305 freaking pounds. How crazy is that? We got a Mr. Olympia who is over 300 pounds on stage. Well, not exactly. This video was filmed at a France Pro at the Wayne's. So at this point, he was already dried out. I mean, he probably didn't do anything drastic. Uh, he probably didn't use any diuretics for France Pro. But I guess he was even lighter the wanes than he was uh, on the day of the stage. I guess he carved up even more. So he could have been even heavier on the France Pro stage. But let's say he was the same, 305 pounds. And his conditioning at uh, France Pro, yeah, it was a little bit worse than the, the Mr. Olympia, but it wasn't that much off. Now, when I'm looking at it and I'm comparing it to the Mr. Olympia, I can see that he was maybe, he was a little bit drier for the Mr. Olympia, but that little was a lot for him, right? So I guess he was about five pounds lighter at the Mr. Olympia, and I don't know, at the finals at the Mr. Olympia, I think he was bigger, fuller, so I'm guessing he was at least 300, I don't think he was 290 or 295, I think he was at least 300 pounds on the Mr. Olympia stage, or even heavier than that. How crazy is that, guys? Finally, we have a freaking huge Mr. Olympia. We had one three years ago when Big Ramy was winning, but since then, we had Harry Chopin, a former 212 bodybuilder, who is maybe like 230 on stage, and then Derek Lansford, similar weight, similar stature, similar height, and finally, we got a proper mass monster for a Mr. Olympia. Comparing him to Ronnie Coleman... The biggest Ronnie Coleman got on stage was in 2003 when he was an absolute alien, basically, and he was 290, I believe. Now, of course, his conditioning was far better than Samson's, especially from behind. I mean, look at his glutes and his hamstrings and the back as well. He was definitely more conditioned significantly, but uh, lighter, smaller. Samson and Ronnie are exactly the same height, six foot. 180 centimeters and uh, Ronnie was actually 15 or let's say 10 pounds lighter back in the day but does that really matter in this conversation I mean I think Samson Daura is the biggest Mr. Olympia ever I mean Ronnie Coleman could have showed up at uh, 305 pounds on stage would have he won that Mr. Olympia maybe maybe not Samson won the Mr. Olympia with this conditioning and with this weight. I don't think Big Remy was ever 305 pounds on stage or 300 pounds. I think he was around 280 pounds uh, on the Mr. Olympia stage, uh, 2020, 2021. But Big Remy is shorter. He's actually two inches shorter than uh, Samson and Ronnie. As far as the overall size, you know, height, size and like weight... Samson Daura is the biggest Mr. Olympia of all time, and just compare him here to Hari and Derek. As long as this guy is uh, kinda on, I mean, he doesn't need to be peeled, but as long as he is in okay conditioning, these two guys don't stand a chance against this freaking monster right here, and I'm so happy about that. I always wanted to see Samson win, but I wanted to see him deserve the win. I wanted to see him bring conditioning and then this physique and actually showcase what it actually is. And like with his frame, with his structure, with his size, and now with good conditioning, yeah, we have a really freaking crazy looking monster who is now representing the bodybuilding. And I think it just makes so much sense. I mean, having a Hadi as the champion or Derek. Those guys are definitely a lot smaller, very short. Me, personally, I just can't really appreciate shorter physiques in bodybuilding, in open bodybuilding. You need to be at least, like, 5 foot 9, you know, 5 foot 10, something like that, you know. You, you can't be super short and be the best bodybuilder in the world. I mean, sure, you can. These guys proved me wrong. I mean, it's possible, but... 
it never sat well with me and I think this is definitely much better now. Hopefully Samson will continue to improve his conditioning and you know at least bring the same thing next year and as long as he does that he's gonna stay the king for a long time in my opinion. Once again 305 pounds guys, I'm sure all of these guys in the top 10 are losing hope right now and they think what they're doing is, is hopeless if they're going against Samson Dow they, and they're hoping to become the Mr. Olympia. This guy is probably gonna be unbeatable in the next who knows how many years i don't see another freak like this showing up as long as he keeps bringing conditioning he's probably going to have a legacy however one of the guys that uh, might push him in the future is martin fitzwater i mean this guy just had his mr olympia debut and he pushed he potentially beat a lot of these guys in the top three in some poses overall he was the most complete bodybuilder in that top four i think he was even more complete than samson dauda maybe but you know he is shorter he is smaller if he wants to become the mr olympia and beat samson one day i mean it, it's gonna be very difficult like i said because he's basically the same height like hadi like derek you know if he wants to beat samson he needs to keep on growing he needs to be bigger than he is right now is that even possible i think so i think he can grow a little bit more not a lot he's i think he's pretty much almost maxed out for his height i mean how much more muscle can he add to those freaking uh, shoulders and arms and, and legs as well i mean everything really i mean maybe his back can grow a little bit more but like overall he he can't really grow that much more and if he grows a little bit more and improves conditioning even more if he shows up I don't know, let's say he brings 2009 uh, Jay Cutler kind of conditioning, then, and Samson comes a little bit off, anything is possible. I think he is probably the guy that is next in line to actually push and challenge Samson Dower in the future. I definitely don't think Hadi can make any more progress, I think his physique is absolutely maxed out, he's gonna be happy if he maintains what he has and maybe improves conditioning, and Derek, I mean, I guess theoretically he can definitely make more progress, but for some reason he actually got worse this year, this past off season. I don't know why he regressed, I hope Hunter Amber is going to address this uh, soon on his podcast, and I don't know if Derek could be on his like downward trajectory, I don't know if he's gonna get better next year or even worse. Who knows what kind of issues he might be dealing with, I mean, I don't see why would he show up with worse conditioning, okay, you can, you can miss conditioning, but like, why were his legs smaller and weaker? I don't know about that. And Martin, he's basically just starting, he's new in this thing, and he has a lot more complete physique. His most muscular destroys Derek's most muscular, his absent eyes kills Derek's absent eyes, uh, side chest, very comparable, Derek beats him from the back, but not by a long shot. He's probably the guy that is matching Derek the most in the back shots. So this is his first Mr. Olympia. Next year, if he keeps progressing at this pace, he can beat Derek. He can beat Hadi even. He can be top two with Samson next year. I, I definitely see that. And he's gonna do Prague Pro in the four weeks from now. And that's how he's gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia, so he doesn't have to do any shows mid-season. He has enough time to refresh his body, to make progress, and to come stronger at next year's Mr. Olympia. And next year I'm probably betting on Martin instead of Derek. And most likely instead of Hadi as well. I mean, this year, yeah, sure, they rightfully placed ahead of him, but give him another year. I'm pretty sure he's going to surpass Hadi, and as far as Derek, we'll see how much progress can Derek actually make, but if he doesn't make significant progress, I think Martin is beating both of these guys and pushing Samson for the title. Alright, and the last thing, the last guy I wanted to talk about is somebody I completely ignored during this Mr. Olympia, I didn't talk about Rafael Brandau at all, and what happened with him is basically kind of what I expected, based on his uh, physique updates, he looked massive in his mirror photos, and uh, you know, in that video that he filmed a couple of days before, he seemed like he wasn't in the best conditioning possible, and he wasn't. 
he was basically in the same condition he was at the Arnold Classic Brazil, where he won controversially, and still, I mean, he placed the top 8 edition Mr. Olympia, which is a great success, you know, he was 10th uh, two years ago, and this year with his super crazy lineup, he actually managed to crack the top 8, but if he was in better conditioning, maybe he could have placed higher, maybe he could have even beat uh, William Bonek, who the hell knows, but as long as uh, he stays the same size, he is not going to be placing much higher than that. Now, he is uh, the same height as Samson, so he has the potential, he has the frame, he has like the structure to be a mass monster, but he needs to grow a lot more muscle. And the thing is, I don't think he can't grow. The last time he took a year off and he gained like 15 pounds of, of muscle, and he showed up much, much better at the Arnold Classic. I think he was a lot better at the Arnold Classic Ohio than, than here, but I think Neil Hill knew that he needs to be as big as possible to hang with these guys at the Mr. Olympia, so they didn't want to push for crazy conditioning, and I think it probably was the right play. He could have been a little bit better, a little bit more conditioned, but still, again, if he wants to do something serious, I think he needs to take another, like, two years off and focus on growing if he doesn't do that he's still gonna be like one of the top eight guys but i don't see him being a top five guy or like top three guy unless he puts on another like 20 pounds of muscle that's the way i see it guys if you see it otherwise tell me down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up tell me what you think about samson's weight or about martin's future thank you guys so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye